What's up guys? You wanna kill more big bucks like this? Well, you're probably gonna need a cell camera. You want one? I'll give you one. All right, guys, we got an Exodus trail camera giveaway coming up for you guys. The only thing that you guys gotta do to win this bad boy is like our videos, comment on our videos for extra entries, keep commenting, and make sure you're subscribed. Simple as that, guys. We're giving away an Exodus trail camera. If you want one, like, comment, subscribe. Well, guys, some of you, some of you clicked this video. You saw the cold front talk, and you're like, "What's this guy talking about?" Don't wait for cold fronts. That's one of the most important things that you can do as a hunter is wait for cold fronts. If you have a cold front, the deer move better, and all these other things, right? Yeah, maybe, maybe not. There's some other tactics that I like to use instead of banking on these cold fronts. Before we get into that, housekeeping notes: we are booking clients right now. WhitetailLandManagementServices.com. Hit the contact tab. Shoot me a message. Let's learn more about your property. How you can make it better. How you can pull more bucks onto your property. Learn more about food plotting. How to make money on your property. All these cool things, let's get a visit plan, get that taken care of. Number two, uh, eurooptic.com, like the word European, eurooptic.com, code WLMS VTX10, 10% off Vortex Optics, Christmas is coming, buy yourself a present. Uh, otherwise, go to vortexoptics.com, code WLM20, gets you 20% off all their apparel. And they got some sweet stuff, I promise you, go check it out. But guys, now it is time to get into this cold front talk. Okay, so... Let's face it, we all know of the apps where, oh, wait for the cold front, or, or the, the algorithm says that you gotta wait for this cold front, and it's not a great day to hunt until you go and, and hunt the cold front. Well, here's the thing about this time of year, guys. We're in that pre-rut, rut, post-rut, November, October time frame, where honestly, if there was ever a time of the year in which cold fronts do not matter to me, which they rarely do matter, or do matter in the first place to me, I'd, I'd rather just go find the deer, and we'll get to that a little bit, but, um, and, and instead, instead of waiting on these cold fronts, just do yourself a favor and get out there because this is the time of the year in which deer are breeding, they're seeking, they're doing all these different things, trying to find a breeding partner. They are going to be moving. Now think about it this way. I mean, I know it's a goofy way to think about it, but if you only had an opportunity to breed one time a year, you're going to take advantage of it. Um, you know, so basically what I'm getting at is that the cold fronts don't matter to me anymore this time of year. I just need, know I need to put time in the stand. I still need to be strategic about my hunts, put as many factors in my favor as I possibly can, but I'm not necessarily worried about, oh, it's not cold today and I'm not going to go, I'm not going to go hunting. And here, here's a scenario that I've personally had. I would say it was two to three years ago. Uh, I was hunting in Kentucky and I want to say it was in the low nineties around November 7th, 8th, 9th, something in that time frame. And I got out in the tree stand because it's that time of year where I need to be out in that tree stand. Sure enough, my target buck comes in with an hour and a half to two hours of light left. I never did get a shot that night. Um, but the, the point being is that that buck came in, okay? He didn't care about the weather. He was looking to breed. He was seeking. He was looking for these does, checking scrapes, doing all these things that go on in November. So what am I saying? Get your butt in the stand. That's what I'm saying. The next day, okay, the very next day, a buck that I probably should have shot knowing what I know now, um, you know, hindsight being 2020, looking back on the scenario, this is buck called buck, uh, back scratcher. Okay. I, I never really saw him in person. I had him on trail camera. I didn't think he was a great deer, but regardless, he came in that next day. We're still on that warm front guys. We we're talking in the eighties, the nineties in November. Okay. I've hunted, I think 365 days prior to that down in the teens. Okay. So the year prior it was down in the teens. This year it was in the eighties and nineties. I was still seeing shooter bucks throughout the day, not the last you know, hour, not the first hour of the day. Those bucks were still cruising, doing their thing. Now, now I mean, maybe it's not ideal conditions, but you still gotta be out there. More important than all that, more than my, my favorite tactic to use, um, other than paying attention to only hunting when the cold fronts are, are, come in, is just go and find the deer. Just because it's not a cold front, doesn't mean that the deer are not in the woods. Where do they just magically disappear? Absolutely not. If you know that you have deer around, or you know it's go time, and you know you got a limited time, Go out there and find them. Go and push these deer off their beds because if you don't, you never really know where they are. Yes, I know that sounds like it's a, it's a you know a counterintuitive. It's a it's a counterproductive way of going about um, and uh, going about hunting and having a successful hunt. But here's the thing: otherwise, you're second guessing yourself. If there was ever a time of the year in which you could go out there, push these deer off their beds, this would be it. I mean, you can get away with almost anything. Sometimes even hunting very marginal winds, whatever the case might be. So. The biggest thing is just getting out there and being aggressive. Push these deer, figure out where they're exactly at, and set up. A lot of times these bucks won't even run away, especially if they have a breeding partner, if they have a doe with them, they're not even going to run away. So the thing that's more important than these cold fronts, guys, is just getting your butt in the woods. I don't care what that long-range forecast looks like. It's just more important that you're out there. Anything can happen this time of year. So do, do yourself a favor, get out in the woods. If you guys like these videos, make sure you're liking and subscribing. Always doing giveaways. You like free stuff, well... 
If you're not liking and subscribed, you can't win. So like, subscribe, comment, and uh, we'll see you guys next one.